is the Evolution S355 CPSL, and it's their cold cut saw or a chop saw. Now we used this for quite a while in the shop, cutting uh, everything from large round pipe to uh, rectangle tubing, um, flat bar, you name it, we cut it, and it cuts very well. Now this uses a cold cut blade. This is not a saw that typically uses an abrasive blade changed out. These saws turn a lot slower RPM than like a, a carbide blade saw would. Those are more high speed. Uh, this, this actually turns at 1450 RPM, uses a 14 inch blade. Uh, the, the actual blade is I think certified or rated for 1600 RPM. But again, as far as the saw itself, it is a no load speed of 1450 RPM. Again, the 14 inch blade basically gives you, if you're cutting flat bar vertically, uh, it's right at five inches. In fact, to cut that five inches, had to hold the blade guard up just a touch to clear that five inch uh, vertical bar and then it would cut. If you're cutting rectangle tube, it's definitely gonna cut you know, four and three quarter inches with no problem at all. Uh, if you're cutting round pipe, it'll actually cut a five inch, I think a five and an eighth inch round pipe at 90 um, without touching the blade guard or anything else. As far as what really sets this saw apart, is really the ease of use and how easy it is to change things over, uh, whether it be from you know rectangle tubing to round pipe. They have basically this little uh, vice adapter here that you slide in and it'll actually, it will actually hold that round pipe where it needs to be, um, as you can see here in the jaws, without letting it rotate as well as out letting it kind of jump around, if you will. And this easily and quickly just slides into these jaws just like that. So very easy to change that out. Also, you get that Acme thread here on the, on the vice clamp as well on the vice jaws where you can easily, um, you know, quickly be able to, to loosen that and tighten that. Also, you can flip the lever and just slide it back and forth to quickly get to wherever it needs to be. And then you can flip that back forward. And as you tighten, it's really gonna lock down and lock those jaws into place. Now, when you're cutting to say to a 45, uh, being able to get to that angle, you've got several different options here of where you can actually set the jaws. Now, a quick you know, grab of the Allen wrench here that's actually in this little rubber grommet here on the front of the machine. And you can basically take uh, one of the jaw screws out. And then the other one is actually on the jaw clamp itself where you can spin that out and take that out and move it on the, di the three different holes it has. If we were cutting a 45 on say the, uh, the three inch rectangle tubing, uh, if you have it on the very back slot, the blade wouldn't quite reach the back of the metal. So it left a little bit to be cut. So that's where you actually need to move it forward a notch or, or two notches. And then you can cut that 45 and it's deep enough to cut that entire, that entire depth. Now, as far as the entire uh, width here that it will actually cut, when it's all the way inserted is a little over seven inches. So uh, if you're cutting some big rectangle tubing, um, you know, you can cut up to seven and an eighth inches at a 90 if you were cutting say flat bar laying flat. Uh, really easy to use, like I mentioned, as well as like one of the neat features here is, is on the actual uh, vice lockdown here, uh, this has kind of got a, a cam adjustment or a spring release where you can actually pick up the, uh, the handle and turn it. So if, if you get done tightening and it's in your way, you can just pick it up, turn it out of the way, and then it locks back down. So another one of the really cool features here. Now, Evolution's been around a long time. They're actually a British company. They're in the UK. Uh, they really make a really fine product. They make actually several different models as well, depending on the features you need. I know we have the CPSL, there's also the CPS, and I think the difference were like mounting holes in the deck, as well as a couple of other small things. Um, but really, really easy to use, cuts really, really well. Cold cut saw, meaning that once you get done cutting, you don't have a red hot piece of metal or molten metal like you would with a carbide bit. It's actually gonna have just kind of a warm touch to it. Even after cutting some, some of that thick uh, quarter inch wall pipe, um, you could grab it with your hand, no problem. I know I had gloves on, but those aren't insulated at all, just kind of rubber lined cotton gloves or synthetic gloves. Um, but you can hold it with your bare fingers as well. Um, I would say the only kind of uh, uh, caveat, if you will, is basically when this is working, you see it's got a, actually a metal tooth blade on it or a carbide tip blade. Um, so it looks like a wood blade. So when it's cutting that, that steel, you're actually getting these little pieces of flying debris, if you will. So 
Definitely have your safety glasses on. Probably even recommend a face shield as well because uh, those will fly around. They're not directly at the operator, but definitely right of the blade and rear of the blade, there will be quite a few of those chips that are flying. So little bitty uh, metal chips. They're not hot enough to burn you. They do t turn blue. You can tell they've got some heat in them. When they first touch you, they might you know, sting a little bit, but not enough to burn your skin. But again, not something you want to just be handling all the time. But that is the only thing. When you get done cutting with one of this, you don't have that real fine metal dust like you have with a carbide tip. You definitely don't have that metal shower of flying, you know, flaming debris. Uh, but you do have these little, you know, metal chips um, that you do need to, to look out for, sweep up, vacuum up, what have you, or have a, you know, a, a nice catch behind you where it's uh, trapping all that. Um, the Evolution, really good saw. Uh, we definitely recommend it. Easy to use. I would say that where this fits is that, uh, I shouldn't say smaller fabrication shop, but that fabrication shop where you're building smaller stuff, whether it be roll cages, uh, whether it be you know two by four square tubing, things like that, this is very quick to use. You know, two inch, three inch, five inch stuff like that. Very quick to use. If you're getting into larger stuff, again, you're just kind of getting out of the capacity of this, where that bandsaw is probably going to work better for. But anything smaller than that, uh, you know, smaller than say six inches, this is going to be an excellent tool for that. So we were really happy with the performance of the S355 CPSL. Um, this is not the first Evolution saw we've used. Really good products, really good company. Make sure you check them out at evolutionpowertools.com. Again, this is their 14 inch chop saw, so using a 14 inch blade. Uh, it also comes with a three year warranty on this. Um, and cost is going to be somewhere around a, a little less than $350. I think we saw it for $330, $340. And again, it comes with that three-year warranty. So make sure you check them out. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Have a great day.